Welcome to Drawfee, where we take dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Nathan. I'm Jacob. I'm Julia. Guys, our Diddle Slaps letters finally came. Oh, I'm so excited. We're we're I'm going to magical puberty. We're going to magical school. We're a little old, but they made an exception. Mine for was us. found in Seagull Barf. Yours was what? It was in Seagull Barf. It was a seagull a... flew up to my window and just vomited out my letter and said, You go on Diddle Slaps. The seagull said that? No, he vomited up a letter. Oh, the letter, the letter said that. <laughs> the seagull said nothing. The seagull said. <laughs> I found mine while I was plunging my toilet, um, and that's what was what was stopping it up. Mine was tucked so delicately under my eyelids while I slept. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up and there it was. Wow, incredible! Yeah, H Harry Potter. I don't know. It's always relevant, right? It's always relevant. People love it forever. JK is people are gonna lose their goddamn mind. Gonna over tweet this something video. probably between recording this and releasing it and about how wizards like piss in their own mouth <laughs> instead of drinking water. It's like it gets worse every time. Yeah. <laughs> they can magically convert the piss to water. Just so like... they just piss in their own mouths that's just constantly. An, that's an article Willie wrote. <laughs> this suggestion comes to us from Ploops. Thank Ploops. you, Ploops. 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 Friend of the show, Ploops. Friend of the show, Ploops, wanted us to draw our own houses for our own wizarding school. She phrased it as Drogwarts houses. Drogwarts houses is going on the thumbnail for sure. But uh, Diddle Slaps is the official Diddle name. Diddle Slaps is the name of the school the because school. we couldn't remember Ilvermore. <laughs> So yeah, I'm Diddle gonna slaps is in Boston. I'm gonna draw a sort of exemplary wizard from the house that I come up with. This is the one that you'll be sorted into from the sorting Red Sox cap. That I will be sorted into? I don't know, man. I don't know if I belong in this house. <laughs> I have an idea for a house that okay. I that I think is a fun I just think it's a fun to say. Then I want you to do it. So I'm just gonna do it. You know? I mean, we all here agree that you're a Hufflepuff, right? Right. Oh yeah. Like that's, that's there's no question. Yeah, apparently I'm a Hufflepuff. As a youth, I would have fancied myself a, a Ravenclaw, but as an adult, the consensus is I'm a I'm a puff. I'm a puff boy. I feel like that's the place to be, to be honest with you. Yeah. Like they get in the less the least shit. The only one in Hufflepuff that ever got in any trouble was Cedric Dickory. And he, yeah, he, he went in the, the damn hedge maze and got killed by Voldemort. Yeah. Spoilers. Spoilers. It's too late for that. <laughs> Cedric Diggory played by- Cedric Dickory. What? Cedric Dickory. <laughs> he was always up to some Dickory. He was- uh... Harry hated him because he was too handsome and cool. Yeah, and he was played by what's his face? Robert Pattinson. Robert Pattinson. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, sort of going off of that, that Hufflepuff idea, my fake knockoff house is Bufflepuff. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's really similar in name. Because I don't think there's like any, you know, correct me on this, Harry Potter fans, but I don't think there's any just sort of like buff wizard's house. There's not. I think the closest you would get is probably Gryffindor because that seems like something they'd be into. Well, they're, they're like the most jock house. There are like buff wizards in, in all the house, like Crab and Goyle. They're pretty buff and they're in Slytherin. They're just it's, big. Yeah, I think they're just big. They're, they're just, just big. big dudes. But I want, this is a house that's like specifically for like wizards that use their magic to make them strong. They're like, they're big into all the wizard sports. They're just like all about that, that gains lifestyle. Absolutely. They're like, you have to have a strong body to have a strong mind. Mind. They go together. Yeah. So the uh, wizarding spells are strengthened. The, the the harder you can thrust your wand, yeah, the more powerful a spell you'll produce. I like to think of it as like in like the Full Metal Alchemist sense, mm -hmm. of like you know an Armstrong, like an Alex yeah. Armstrong. Yeah, exactly. Like he's doing alchemy, but he's using his big muscles. He's using to, his big muscles to propel it's, that alchemy. You know, I feel like if there was just like a real buff guy on the team, I guess Hagrid's kind of buff. He's not buff though, he's just big. All he's, they have is big just, boys. They just, don't have any buff boys. They don't, they've got big boys, but no buff boys. Exactly. Hogwarts doesn't have a gym, but Diddle Slaps has four gyms. But Diddle, I feel like yeah. I feel like Durmstrang would have all the gyms. Oh, Durmstrang is nothing but gyms. Durmstrang is nothing but gyms. Okay, so they've got a whole school. That's the that's the Bulgarian one or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So With this Victor is Victor Crumb. Victor Crumb. Victor Crumb. This person's wand is just um is just barbells. Oh, nice. Is just um. They, it looks like two marshmallows roasted on an open fire. Well, they were marshmallows, but they were enchanted to be super heavy. So this looks like a, a light. It's deceptively light. So this is looking. like a training with weights on sort of situation. Yeah, exactly. You so got like when when it gets serious, mm -hmm. you know, they take the weights off the wand, and then they can really whip that thing around. Sick as Gainus. Sick as Gainus. Sickest Gainus. You cast that spell, 
to do to get the sickest gains. Yeah. It's not really a spell. No, it's but not. But they do say it every time. They're it is their reps. house motto. Yeah, the house motto. <laughs> sickest gainus. Sickest gainus is the house motto. I guess I should come up with like an animal because they all get animals, right? That's oh, true. Yeah, it's that buff kangaroo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. The so, really jacked kangaroo. So they've, kangaroo. Got, the, they've got the jacked kangaroo. <laughs> that one specific jacked kangaroo. That is one their specific. House animal. Ja- there are actually lots of those, but it, the, that one is the only one that has um, made itself known to the muggle world. It is actually a, a race of, uh, a, you know, like, like, oh, like a, magical. Like a magical beast. It's like a kangaroo centaur. Yeah. Slash minotaur. It's got like a human torso, a strong human torso. Yeah. And kangaroo legs and head. I'm trying to think of how they would, because all the, the houses have like a door that you have to open, you know, specially. It's just In like a special way. I think, I yeah, really think just... that it's just a big boulder <laughs> that you got to like <laughs> move just... in and yeah. out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the... What is it in Hunter Hunter when they have to get into um... the door's just really heavy? Yeah, the door's just really. <laughs> it's a strength test. You just got a really heavy door. Yeah, you um, can't open our heavy door. What, what do you expect? What to do you beat expect us with? to do with? Yeah, you're not strong enough. You got to be strong to use magic. You got to. That's buff- magic. Buff- 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 magic. Buff- magic's not just for weaklings who want to use magic to feel strong. It's also for strong people who want to be even stronger. This horrible kangaroo. <laughs> 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 They're not the art house, all right? They're the strong house. No, yeah, they they designed this themselves. Yeah. So yeah, I think their robes do are sleeveless because sun's out, guns out, but it is still a robe at the bottom. Yeah, it's got to be. You know, <laughs> there there are rules. There are rules. Are they wearing like a lifting belt at all times instead <laughs> of like a hat? <laughs> <laughs> the hat is also weighted. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We'll get that get that belt. What's a lifting belt look like? It's just like a harness, right? It kind of looks like a like a championship belt, but it's yeah. it's to make your back and, and and keep your torso upright. Okay, so she's it's wearing just a really that. big belt. No wizard hat. I think just sweatbands. Just I think, sweatbands. I think lots of sweatbands. These sweatbands are are magic. They catch all of like the magic sweat that you do when you cast like a very physically intense uh, spell. Yeah, and they can like store that up for like potion making. I bet they're real good at making po- like energy drink potions in in Buffle Puff. They are still kitchen raiders, much like the Hufflepuffs, because they got to be in there all the time. Oh yeah, the calories up. Oh yeah, dude, they're hitting, they're hitting it, uh, and they ain't quitting it, and they and they ain't quitting it. So this is the house prefect, Buffany. Buffany. <laughs> <laughs> Do they all get buff related names, or is that just a coincidence? No, that's just that's just her name. Imagine running into this girl on the train, you know, to uh, what is this? What is this called? Diddle slaps. Diddle, Diddle slaps. slaps. You're on the train to Diddle slaps, and uh, do they take a train? Actually, no, it's a it's an that. Uber pool. Uber pool. You're in the <laughs> Uber pool with this girl, and uh-huh. she's like, you know, oh, what's your name? Buffany. I wonder what really? house you're gonna be in. <laughs> Are you aiming it's, for a house? That's uh, seriously your name, or is that like a nickname? No. Are you trying to trick the Sorting Hat? No. Would they have a Sorting Hat here, or would they have like? Uh, maybe it's like pants. Sor- sorting pants. <laughs> sorting pants. What's like a very American thing to wear? Blue jeans. It's the sorting blue jeans of diddle denim, slaps. Denim vest. Yeah, the sorting vest. <laughs> it's a sweater vest. It's an American flag that seconds as a cape. And the national anthem plays and fireworks shoot off. Yeah. <laughs> Buffany. Buffany. We get all the hottest wizard celebs to do the uh, the opening ceremony of school for yeah. no good reason whatsoever. You know, because Hogwarts has, is pretty quiet. It's like the celebration is finding out what house you're in. Yeah. But not diddle slaps. No. We need the show. It's a big thing. And there's a big party afterwards. Okay. So this is this is Buffany of Bufflepuff. <laughs> Sure. I like it. I'm starting us off. You did it, man. I'm proud of you. B for Buffle Puff. <laughs> <laughs> Good uh, letters, Nathan. Yeah. So do we want to just draw them all like n- next to each other? Yeah, sure. I'll I'll shrink yours. Cool. Let me in. All right. Let's let's shrink Buffany. Yeah, maybe Buffany is just very compact. You don't know how big she is until you draw your guy. Until I draw my guy. Um, okay, I'm gonna get started on my guy here. Cause I was thinking about, you know, like what what kind of houses was Hogwarts missing? Yeah. You know? They got brave, they got smart, they got evil. They, yeah, they, they got brave, they have just evil. They've got school, and then they have other are sort of the four that they chose to break it up. And I, it seems just to be like who the founders were, right? Yeah. yeah. Cause it like was they just sort of they were like 
hey, this guy, this one guy's kind of evil. Let's let him have a schoolhouse Let's let where all the evil kids will go. Let's let him have a schoolhouse and a whole like secret chamber where an evil snake lives that can be opened sometimes. Well, in the books, the, the Slytherin house is not as evil. It's like... There's evil all across the board, just coincidentally, oopsie doodles. It's always, the, the big always evil Slytherin. guy is from Slytherin. Whoops, it's always Slytherin who are the ones being assholes to everyone. <laughs> yeah. No, there's some there's some assholes across the board. But never like, you know, I almost said Ian Malcolm. <laughs> I meant Draco Malfoy. Ian, Ian Malcolm? Malcolm? That's Jurassic Park. That's the that's you the, drew him. That's Jeff Goldblum. You drew him in that episode. Watch that episode if you haven't already. Jacob did a good job drawing Dr. Ian Malcolm. He's not in Slytherin as far as I know. No. But I think he would be a Hufflepuff, really. Ian Malcolm? Yeah. He'd probably be a Ravenclaw. He's very smart. He is smart. And his whole but deal is that he's smart. He's a little too wily. He is wily. I, I could see him as Slytherin too. I think he's got a lot of wiles. Because isn't Slytherin about being, it's not actually about being evil. It's, it's about, about ambition. It's yeah. about ambition, ambition and like. Ambition and like trickery. Yeah, yeah, like wi you, wiliness. You use a lot of trap cards if you're in Slytherin. <laughs> Absolutely. There's no punk house. There's no punk rock house. <laughs> There's no punk rock house. That's true. Um, that's my problem with Hogwarts. Where where does the creatives, the rock stars go? Yeah, where's the music? Where, where are the virtuosos, the bards? Where's the bards at? So that's where's why. Where's the bard at college? That's why at Diddle Slaps, we have a house for that. That. It's called Sick and Door. Sick and Door, and it's fucking rad, dude. That sounds pretty. That sounds pretty dope. It's it's pretty dope. So this is where all like the cool musicians hang out, and like the artists. It's the artsy fartsy house. I like that, but um, in a way that's like really cool and accessible. Yeah, not you know, it's not like the kind of house that's like, oh, we only indulge in the high arts. They're like, no, let's splatter magical is... paint all over the statue of Bulldog Buffman, the founder of. <laughs> Buffenthorpe. What's your house called? I don't give a shit. We're sicker. Buffle Puff. We're sick and door. I don't even know our own house's name. That's art, how cool they are. Art is for the people, and they understand that. They that, understand like, that. Art reflects life. Life reflects art. Art is for everyone. Uh, you don't need gatekeepers no to way tell to you. you how to appreciate art, what exactly. art is, is high art, what art isn't. It's just, you know, if it makes you feel something, it's art. Exactly. And nothing makes you feel something quite like magic. Like when you have to, you know, curse someone to make them barf up slugs or whatever. That's art. That's art, man. See, in this, this is they're more likely to do something like maybe this guy will curse himself to barf up slugs as like mm -hmm. a piece of performance art. You know, he's like, this is representative of the treatment of wizards in this country. Sure. And then he'll barf up a bunch of slugs and everyone will be like, wow, I get it. It's a metaphor. Yeah. He needs to be wearing a robe, huh? <laughs> nah. Nah. Make he... the back of his, his jean vest real long. Hold on. I want it to be a hoodie robe. Hoodie robe. It's going to be, yeah. Yeah, I should have had mine like open up to be athletic shorts. It's going to be a skull here, like tying the hoodie part together. Oh, that's cool. And then it's going to be robing out to the sides here. I just keep looking back at this horrible kangaroo I've drawn. <laughs> It makes sense for the house, Nathan. Yeah, what's the animal for um for Sickendor? I feel like it ha it would have to actually be like a raven or a crow. It'd be some sort of animal what sings. Or like a a, a, a dog what's... a dog doing a kickflip on a skateboard. What's like the most rock and roll animal? Rock a doodle rooster. <laughs> it's a rooster. It's a cool rooster. Sickendor's animal is a cool rooster. <laughs> okay. okay. Like with a, a cool rooster mohawk going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, the the crest. Yeah, he's gonna be you can tell he's like wearing under here a sick and door shirt. You see like the little claw feet of the bird. Nice. But you can't see the whole thing. But you know it's cool. You know it's cool. You know it's cool because this guy's wearing it. <laughs> um I don't know his name yet. It's definitely Damien. Okay. But but his last name's gotta be something like Damien Jazz. Uh, Damien Jazz. <laughs> oh my god, I think you might be right. <laughs> Damien Jazz. He's going to have a, a big pointy nose. Kind of a Roger Klotz. Oh, nice. Sort of vibe. Yeah. But he's not mean like Roger Klotz. No, he's not mean. He wants to support, you know, every all the students in their artistic endeavors. Yeah, I think that that's something about Diddle Slaps is like the houses uh, are not like it's a friendly competition, but like they all get along, you know? Yeah, they all get along pretty like, well. The Just because you care about muscles and gains doesn't mean you don't appreciate the art and artistry of uh, of Sikandor. Yeah, totally. And I think he's just got kind of like some really long sideburns going on. Oh, yeah. And kind of a disaffected look. 
about him. This is like but it, it belies a kindness. This is like if Roger Klotz and Space Dandy had a child. <laughs> That's my fanfic, dude. Have you been reading my fanfic <laughs> about Roger Klotz and Space Dandy? <laughs> Klotz X Dandy. Klotz X Dandy. I've been writing it for thirteen years. <laughs> <laughs> I've snuck some peaks. I, I saw their ship name, Clandy. Clandy. <laughs> uh, and then I think he's just gonna, I, I do want to give him like sort of a pompadour hairstyle. Nice. Like a rockabilly. It's a magically enhanced. It is just space dandy. Uh, pompadour. <laughs> but it's got like sort of like a rooster crest situation going on up here. He's really repping the house. Yeah, he's really like big into like his school spirit. That's so great. He has like a rooster crest. I love someone who's disaffected but does still have a lot of school spirit. Well, I feel like everyone knew like in school or in college that person that you were like, man, that person's really rad and also they're like involved in everything, but they don't make it seem lame to be like excited and involved. They make right. it seem cool. They're just they're just doing them. And um, you know, that's that's the kind of person that I think uh, Damian Jazz is. Mm hmm. He doesn't play jazz. No. Uh, but that is that's his name. A, that's just his name. He comes from a, a, yeah. a jazz household. Ron though. Ron isn't a weasel, you know? He's not even weasel -y No. Particularly. He's, he's just a he's just a boy. Um so here's here's Damien Jazz. He's the uh the head boy of um Sickendor. He sure is a head boy, isn't he? He sure is a he's head got, boy. He's look at that head. Look at that head on those shoulders. Um and he's who cares where his wand is? It's sticking out of his hair. Oh nice. <laughs> <laughs> he loses it all the time, and it's usually in his hair. Is his wand a drumstick? His wand is a drumstick. Nathan, this is why I have you here. You done did it. This is why I have you here on this show that I own. <laughs> Thanks for having me on. You're, you're welcome. This is why I, I allow you it. to come. I very much appreciate it. Onto this program. <laughs> it's always a, a pleasure <laughs> to be here. Julia, would you like to draw a house for us? That I would. So we got Bufflepuff. We got Sickendor. Yeah. What's our third house? I guess Diddle Slaps only has three. Diddle Slaps only needs three. Okay. We didn't need a fourth one. Four, fourth is unnecessary. Feel free to shrink my guy. I kind of made him pretty big. That's okay. You made a big, he's just closer. Oh, yours is going to be small. Well, okay, hold on. <laughs> yours is going to be normal height. <laughs> yours is going to be small, but jumping into the air. <laughs> How far into Harry Potter did everyone get? I read it all. You read it all. Julie, did you read it all? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, yeah, Nathan. <laughs> I guess it does make sense that I would be a Hufflepuff then. I feel like a Hufflepuff would not finish reading Harry Potter. Yeah, if any of the houses would. Oh, is yours an old person? Yeah. Aww. <laughs> I guess we've established that maybe the age, it this doesn't is, work the same here. This is the continuing education house. Yeah. This is <laughs> This is this like is the like, community college. Yeah, it's the community college. This is like the the person who the, the old person who couldn't get their degree, you know? And they came back the, and were like, it was always my goal. It was always my dream to I always wanted to be able to summon a whole flock of birds to feed with these breadcrumbs. And now I can. Yay. Thank you, Diddle Slaps. <laughs> What's some, what's some old people? Uh, what's an old lady hair, hair do? It's usually just like a cloud on their head. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. That's sort of the go-to. Because their hair has grown thin and wispy so they, so in they, their old age. So they pomp it, they this, pomp this, it up. With the bangs, this looks kind of dope. <laughs> <laughs> Like this looks like a stylistic choice, which I like. Yeah. yeah, I'll leave it. She's owning it. Kind of an '80s vibe. It also makes sense that I would be in in Ravenclaw. I went to the Universal Studios, the Harry Potter World. Oh, nice. The Wizarding World. Of Harry oh, Potter. you did do that. No, I remember you doing that. Yeah, yeah, I was into it. I'm not I'm, one of those people who like. I'm the Julia of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the Nathan of this episode. Nice. I um yeah I'm not like someone who uh lives or dies by Harry Potter but dang I had a good time reading it yeah I I remember enjoying it when I was reading it I I just fell off as you do life happens you can always go back someday if you decide <laughs> you want to okay so I want I did watch the movies yeah I like the the awkward hug that uh there's so much that, awkward that movement Baltimore in that movie gives oh yeah Malfoy yes in the movie. I know everybody was mad about that because like. Voldemort would not hug. He's not much of a hugger. Okay, so here, here's the old lady. But I want <clears> her. You've drawn an old lady, but we still have a lot of questions. We're yeah, what's need the answer What's here. the name of the house? Are you holding out on us? Is it going to be something funny? I don't really know what the name of the house would be. What would be like uh, the the continuing education house name? Diddle Slaps University College. <laughs> house. <laughs> house. House. I just because I went to University of Maryland and their like community college is the University of Maryland University College. Which is it is, really? Which is that's so many of the same words. It's just the most again. nonsense 
name of a thing. I think it's providing like a good service though. But yeah. it's just the silliest name. Oh, she got a Patronus. So I think well, here's the thing. What's she summoning? I think the people that would, like the old people that would go back to like a magic school, like a wizarding school, mm-hmm. would just get, have no shits anymore. And they're like, look what I can do with this magic. And they'll just like do all of the pranks. Oh. With no, so I think they would be like Prankster the house. house. I think they would be the house that would learn like the dark arts, but not to, to use it for any sort of defense, but just to use it to prank other people. Can we make this third house just a, pr- a dark arts prankster house? Yeah, dark arts. Because I think house. the whole school's got no age limits. All yeah. of Diddle Slaps is Diddle Slaps College University or whatever you said, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone can go there if they manifest magic at any age. That's great. I like Diddle Slaps. What would a prankster house be called? Like if we if we went by, we've just been adjusting the existing names. Right. Yeah. Okay. So we did Gryffindor and Hufflepuff. Yeah. We need like a, a Ravenclaw or a Slytherin. Yeah. What are words for pranks? It could just be prank tr- Tronus. That's not a house, but how is this the hardest thing we've tackled today? We could use the Ilvermorny houses. I don't what know. What is there? Buckwudgie, Puckwudgie, Puckwudgie, um, Buckwudgie, Duckwudgie. A lot of wudgies, huh? Is there a Wendigo house? I don't think there is a Wendigo house. All right. There's like a Thunder, Thunder Lizard. Bird. Thunder Lizard. Nathan, I need I need your power for this. Your power of puns. Jape and Claw. Jape and Claw. We're getting somewhere with We're getting this. somewhere. Severus Jape. Oh, God. <laughs> Hold on. I'm looking up the Ilver Morning Houses. Puckwudgie. Puckwudgie. What if it's just Puckwudgie again? That'd be a fun prank name. <laughs> <laughs> what if it is just Ravenclaw, and then you get there, and you're like, oh, my God, I made it into Ravenclaw. What is this? But this is Ravencraw. This is- this is. What's a craw? This is, this is a false Ravenclaw. This juice is barfing up more snakes. Oh, yeah. Wampus. 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 <laughs> forgot about Wampus. <laughs> How could you forget about Wampus? They were all named after like Native yeah. American folklore stuff, yeah. right? So there's Puckawudgie, Thunderbird, Wampus, and Horned Serpent. Um, do I want this to be a skull? I think I want this to be a skull. I think that's what I want to do. Just bust that out real fast. No, it looks very Slytherin, but that's all right. It looks like the skull's smiling. Yay. With the snakes coming out. Coming out pranks. of his little mouth. I love pranks. I got no names. Is it just the fuck you house? That's rude. Fuck Wedgie. We won't have any no curse words at diddle slaps. This is a respectful school. Butt Wedgie. Butt Wedgie. Julia did it. It's (laughs) Butt Wedgie. Butt Wedgie. It's Butt Wedgie. That's a prank. (laughs) It's Butt Wedgie. (laughs) It's Butt Wedgie. Okay, so the houses are Buffle Puff. Sickendor and butt wedgie. And butt wedgie. The so prankster far, house. So far, the only thing this school has going for it is that you can attend at any age. Well, look at all the cool magic stuff you can you you can learn: magical art, magical strength, magical pranks. Those are three disciplines not covered at Hogwarts. Yeah, that's if true. Want, if you want some regular ass wizard stuff, go to England. Go right. to England and be a dork. If you want to have some fucking fun. <laughs> For once in your life, you know, and join butt wedge. Doesn't matter how old you are. Yeah, this, there my grandkids are so proud of me being in butt wedge. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the dark mark, but with like more snakes. She's just like, you know that that dark mark that everyone's so scared of. Ooh, look, it's a it's a skull with snakes. Oh, so scary. Where's she from? I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't matter where you're from. Because when you're uh, when you hear your family, when you hear your family, <laughs> that's the motto. Of is Diddle the motto slaps. of Diddle Slaps? <laughs> <laughs> and Diddle Slaps is older than Olive Garden, so yeah. <laughs> so there's so an they, ongoing they own... legal battle. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Diddle Slaps. <laughs> when you hear your family, <laughs> ironically, there is an Olive Garden located in the cafeteria because it's an American school. It's uh, you know college rules where it's they sponsored just sponsored by yeah, Olive Garden. They, we just have a lot of sponsored. Well, the Olive Garden. Uh, I think was founded by a Diddle Slaps alum. Yeah, yeah. Um, Mr. Olive Garden. They went, you know, they <laughs> they were mostly interested in. Uh, I think they were they were in Sikandor, but their art was pasta. Yeah, pasta art. Or alternatively, as the legend states, it was someone from Bufflepuff who needed more carbs. It was oh, it was it was, it was a team. It was effort. a team effort. Yeah, and again, they Diddle Slaps encourages interdisciplinary partnerships. Yeah, yeah, of course. We can all learn from each other. So yeah, we're we're gonna go. I'm excited to be. I I guess I would be in Sikandor because I think I'm not strong enough or pranky enough for the other houses. 
I'm going straight for Buffle Puff. I want to get really strong and I want to punch you all with magic. I just designed a house that I would want to be in. I want to learn dark arts, but not actually use it. So well, you're going I just to butt use it. I just want to use it for fun. Well, guys, uh, we'll we'll keep you abreast of our uh, our magical education as it continues. But you know, uh, Diddle Slaps is open to uh, new houses. So if you have any ideas for other houses, feel free to leave them in the comments, along with suggestions for other episodes you'd like to see us do. And uh, of course, I would be remiss if I didn't encourage you to sign up for Dropout. It is College Humor's streaming service that we have contributed to. We've got a show on there called Cartoon Hell and comics on there. The Cartoon Hell Presents comics and the Ladies Book Club comic. But there's just a lot of good stuff on there. What the Fuck 101 is like a fun fucked up magic school bus. Fantasy High. Brennan does D&D and it's good. It's very good. Nathan, just cast Sign Up a Kiss Dropout. I am going to cast Sign Up a Kiss Dropout. Now they uh, all have to do it. We've, now you all have to do it. Them. It's it's there are so many links. There's a link at the end of this video. There's a link in the description. Uh, there's a pinned comment link. Any of those links. There's a link if you in sign your heart. up, if you sign up using those links, it helps us out a lot. It's the best way to support Drawfee directly. If that's something you're interested in doing, we'd appreciate it. Episodus Overus. No, not Overus. Episodus Finishus. So yeah. Sorry. We're sorry. Sorry, yo. We're sorry. Oh, We're just sorry. Yeah, sorry. When sorry, um, levio, sorry. Oh. Oh.